uh, my patient may show decreases in wrist range of motion, in wrist flexion or extension range of motion, um, partly because they might have tight wrist flexors and or extensors. So I'm going to show a technique to uh, help increase that range of motion by yourself. So if this individual had tight wrist extensors, what I'm going to have him do is extend his elbow completely because these are two joint muscles. Uh, and then I'm going to have him actually flex his wrist as far as he can. And he's going to take his other hand and apply a passive elbow pressure to the wrist. Good. I'm going to have him hold that for at least 30 seconds. And we're going to do um, at least four to five bouts of that um, throughout the next five minutes here. And then if I want to increase uh, extension range of motion, I want to uh, increase the length of these wrist flexors. We'll do the exact opposite. I'm going to have him completely extend the elbow again. I'm going to have him extend his wrist, and he's going to apply passive over pressure here down into the uh, fingers. Good. I'm trying to get a nice stretch in those elbow flexors. Um, again, he's going to do at least five or six bouts, holding that for 30 seconds on and off throughout the day to increase that range of motion.